Well, it's starting to look pretty good. The eight millimeter Turkish Mauser. I've got her down with all the bluing off and all the pitting as much as I can get off. There's a little dent. You see one right there. But uh, it's going to be under the uh, furniture anyway. But uh, boy, I tell you, that bare metal looks good. And uh, cartouches, the numbers are all good. Uh, that's a pretty little, usually these things are very small, but this one's large. The rest of what I gotta do, I'll do by hand. Uh, man, I had to really work on these. They were very badly pitted. And, <coughs> excuse me. I got to about where I could. Now I'll go ahead and uh, hand grind or hand sand all this. Uh, then I'll work on the, I'll get this all done with uh, uh, probably use a tiny bit of 60 grit in here. But I'll use medium and then fine. Basically 120, 150 and 200 on this barrel, even though that's the uh, only part that's going to be seen other than this, but I want it. It's pretty shiny right now, but I've got to get in and get some of this stuff out, but I've stayed away from damaging any of the uh, numbers or uh, the cartouches, and I'll tell you, I don't, I don't feel bad about this. It's coming along well. Uh, in case you're wondering about these uh, Mausers, I had a guy on another site tell me that if you take this, the rear sights off, you'll never sight it in again. Well, this and this is how you sight the thing in. Once you put the back piece, the back sights on it, it's left or right. You do that from right there. So, he didn't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> but neither do I. So anyway, it's, it's coming along. Looks better. Uh, see you guys.